Welcome Dragon Champions to another edition of Dragon Champions here with Dragon Log Gaming. I am your host Dragon. We have bring to you a video today. We are talking about the mistakes that I have made uh, in Dragon Champions. Uh, I don't want you to make these mistakes, so I'm making this video so you understand the mistakes that I have made, uh, and I don't want you to make them. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right on in. First thing that I want to talk about is abilities and ability scrolls. Uh, they're they are so important these green scrolls as you can see i actually have a ton of blue scrolls i even have purple scrolls now let me just let me just preface this right here i have spent money on the game if you want to spend money on the game i don't want you to waste your money right i think this game's a ton of fun i don't think of the i've wasted a single dime on the game as someone who enjoys playing the game and that sort of stuff uh i think the money is well spent but how did I use the money? How did I use uh, the ability scrolls? How did I use, how did I do things? That's what we're talking about here today. If you are free to play, this is even more important. If you're a free to play player, it's even more important that you value your resources. Um, and because they are limited, especially ability scrolls. So let's talk about that. Ability scrolls right here, the green um, ability scrolls, they just they just take a ton of them to do anything. 30 for ability 6. It took, uh, and I'm not sure what ability 5 was. We'll just go grab one of the characters who's not ability 5. Um, a lover here, Revel. I know, I know his name is Revel, but I'm going to call him Lover. It's Lover spelled backwards. Revel is Lover spelled backwards, so he's Lover for now on. Um, but Lover here, 24. 24 green scrolls. Now, of course, the tournament that's going on today, that will end today, um, it has the green scrolls in it. And so, you know, you're, I'm pushing real hard on the tournaments as I get this loaded up, uh, you know, for that one, I think I'm in the top, I'm ranked three at the moment. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any higher than that. The people in front of me are pretty well stacked. Um, and this is the other thing, uh, they're, I, I'm pretty good. I got lucky with goblin. I got lucky with old lore. Old lore has been needed for these. And so you see like I'm 171. Uh, points the next person behind me right is enough that if they were to beat me they could get there um, they overtake me but there's no real difference right ranks one and two get the 60 scrolls and then three to ten it's 45 green scrolls which is enough to a, one ability two abilities at my level um, at 53 and so it's the, the green ability scrolls are crazy expensive crazy hard to get to and then if you look to see how you farm them right farming green ability scrolls is very difficult to do you look you hit the find here and you're looking at a few nodes and they're all hard nodes or difficult nodes so if you come from galaxy of heroes um we they called them hard nodes and this they're called difficulty nodes i've seen people in the comments or in the global chat saying how do i do a difficulty mission and that sort of stuff well these are difficulty missions difficult missions are the hard nodes where you get the characters from um and that sort of thing those are considered the hard nodes or the difficult nodes uh to get but if you're looking here right you get you get uh eric shield breaker and you get one maybe right and then you get the the mods so i mean if you're farming mods you're going to be getting these if you need the blue gear which obviously i need um these pieces of blue gear for characters uh, and that's how you can you can tell that by looking at the symbols here uh for anybody who's new to the game and never played a game like this that's how you can tell what you need uh for your different characters but you're getting one here same kind of thing here it's one right and so they're hard to get and when you run as you can see i've i've done all these today just to get ability scrolls um and so and you have to be able to use the energy if you go to events we have an event i believe that's coming up um all right here the epic rune event uh but here you have the tomes the xp tomes right it, there's not a new there's not really a new event we had the challenges today for for these if you look at the rewards right at my level i get 12 and 3 right so just today i was able to get you know 36 36 green scrolls which if we go back and we look um at the green scrolls once again i think it was 24 for revel to go up to his next level 24 right so i can level one character 
today ability from to five um and so you gotta make you gotta make good choices for me it's all about the orcs right now i'm pushing as you can see i got oh i got 53 just recently uh and because i've got 53 recently i'm able to uh i'm able to you know try to keep pushing these events i'm pushing mar right now right uh i need two more swords to get him to gear seven and then after that at gear seven i'm going to see if i can if it's possible at 53 in gear seven to do the last node here of Corella's mirror and i don't i've tried it at 52 i wasn't able to do it now here at 53 at gear seven all the characters maybe but even then i'm not a this one says ability six i don't even have ability five um some of them do right it's ability five ability five see she's all ability fived out he's basically ability fived out for the most part except for his leadership which i don't use see still at ability four ability five um except for this one here and of course this gives him extra damage when he's missing health it's only one percent more so it's you know he deals one percent more damage for each ten and then nine eight seven six right and so obviously when you get down here he's doing one percent more for two every two percent missing health so that's really good but it's going to take some time to get there and it's level 58 and so this is my focus um it but it hasn't always been my focus right these guys would be maxed out if i didn't like for example snorri's all forward out all right um rebel forward out i mean forward out across the board plus his leadership i mean i kind of wasted time on the leadership here knowing full well i was eventually going to get hera who i have who's also forward out right see i could have saved the leadership on on Revel and just left it for Hera, right? Because she's the better leader. Um, you know, obviously Nightiel, I've got a five on Nightiel because she's amazing. Um, and so it, that's the other thing is knowing the good characters. So just going to take a few minutes to go through. Focus on your, you know, I, I tell you to focus on your orcs, but at this particular point, if you're new to the game, um, orcs are easily accessible and they're very good and they get you very, very far. Um, I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, so they're very, very good. But are you going to get soulless? I don't know if I'm going to get soulless. And that's that uh, soulless. And that, that's the issue that I'm currently at is am I going to get soulless? The answer is maybe. <laughs> I got two days and eight hours get to get soulless. And he unlocks right here. And they're recommending Hero Stars, you know, five. I'm at seven, right? And so that might help um, 60 gear level, gear level, gear level. One of the other things that seems to be a little different to say dra hero uh, from Galaxy of Heroes is star level. Like I ha I'm fully starred out seven stars across the board. I think that's going to help if unlock is five stars and 60, right? But let's look and see what it says here on this event for... Corellia, right? It says hero 60 level ability, right? 60. It doesn't say five stars, right? So it's possible that this needs, you need to have full geared out. Like I've tried full geared out, full star leveled, fully geared out at 52. Um, I have not tried at 53. I, I'm not getting this, but it's close. I can get to the end, but I can't beat the final phase. And so just focusing on those things is super super important also one of the things that i wanted to know is there's certain levels um if you look here at the last hero ability 60 required right this means that at 60 if you unlock a character at 60 you're gonna get the next upgrade up so whatever you know so if you summon a character and they give you an offer if you're level 60, they're going to give you a level 60 offer, which allows you to bring that character up to level 60. Um, I opened a lot of characters at 34, um, and it was relatively cheap at 34, $5.50 um, per character. And so I did a lot of that, and it certainly helped me get the scar count out, but it didn't help me get the ability scrolls out. And so when I 
I waited today because at 52, there's another one. So, and you can tell that by looking here. Um, if you look at uh, old lore here in gear six, right? To be able to have this, he's got to be 52. Well, he is 52, so it's not going to say. Um, let's go to somebody who's not 52. Uh, let's go to Freezard. All right, his last ability requires 52. All right, so this if he's 52, he can put this on. I actually have enough to put this on him, but I'm not going to at the moment because I'm not using Freezard um, primarily because of this. See, he's 3, 3, 4, and 2. These need to be 4, at least 5, you know, from where I'm at. Uh, and so he, you know, he's a little bit lacking. So, because and, you know, when you have those abilities, it's like you can be four stars, for example, Kira. She's four stars and ability five here, and she does so much damage. And her magic, when you look at her, uh, you know, her physical damage, I think she does physical damage. Um, let's go ahead and just look at her stats. So she's got mostly physical damage, right? 1400 physical damage and she's four stars if we look at some of my you know my bigger damage dealers like mar who does a lot of damage right his physical damage is 1509 right at 53 and seven stars right it's a hundred and nine difference um and so the star count to me doesn't seem to affect things as greatly in this game as they did in dragon uh, or in star wars galaxy of heroes and so star count may not have as much difference obviously gear this one is huge right uh this is this one's huge uh it, it gives you a lot of different uh you know so the physical damage is just not much different. She does a ton of damage at four stars. Nightiel, look at her. Magic damage, 1529, right? And she's at five stars. Uh, you know, if I put this next piece on her, her physical damage, her magic damage is all going to go up, right? Same type of thing. But she's at, and but she's 53, and she's got the same kind of damage. Xantara here, right? Magic damage is 1334. Obviously, it needs to go. It needs to go up some. Um, but you know, putting on this piece here, I don't think I have her modded correctly. But I'm just out of mods, um, and so and that's the other thing, right? You get a lot of characters, you run out of mods quickly, and she just needs to have a bunch of damage mods, right? And I you put a health on her. Um, you know, I put health on her because she eats her own health, um, and so. Because she eats her own health to heal with this ability here. Sacrifices 25% of her health, healing all allies for 500% of her magic damage, which is, you know, 500% of this number. Uh, and so that's, it's pretty good. Uh, but it, this this number here is very important. Other mistakes I made is, is runes. Um, that was a big one, right? Knowing what runes do what. Um, and... It's super important to know where you can have what runes are where and where they can have them. So let me let me show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up on the screen a breakdown of the runes. Bring this over. This is on this is on the developer's uh, site. So as you can see. It's right here. It's not particularly big. This is on their Discord server. They have these lists. Um, as you, you probably can't see it particularly well, uh, but it says the north here is damage, right? You can only get damage on the north. Your northeast, you can get speed, accuracy, damage, shield, health, and armor, right? This is, uh, I'm, I'm seeing this particular thing on the, uh, on the Discord server. Um, Northwest, right? The Northwest mod here is you can have potency, damage, tenacity, uh, shield, health, and armor. The Southwest, which is this one here, it's just shield and health. The bottom one can have critical damage, critical chance, damage again, shield, health, and armor. So obviously it's, you know, pretty good. And once again, Southeast is just armor. So there are four places where you could stack damage, North, Northwest, um, south and northeast. Northeast is the only place you can really get speed. 
And so a lot of the, very similar to Galaxy Heroes, this arrow is all speed, but then you could stack damage on the north, northwest, and uh, south. I didn't know a lot of this stuff to begin when I first started. And because I didn't know, I made mistakes. Um, I didn't, you know, like when you look at Hera's, uh, if we look at her runes, and right, she's a newer character that I focused on. Right, she does. She's a tactician and a warrior, so she does a lot of damage. So I've got speed. I've got armor because that's the only thing I have. I have all these other mods, but none of them, you know, critical damage here would be pretty good. Um, but you need four of them to create a word, and I just don't have them. And so it's kind of, you know, so I'm going crit chance on a lot of things because if I crit, it's just more, right? And so you do, but I've got health. I have shields because I don't have damage. And so it's one of those, you're kind of just looking through here. See, I have an armor damage one, but not really the ones that I want. Obviously, potency is huge. Um, for, and this is the only place you can put potency is this, uh, is the uh, northwest corridor is potency. And for characters who, like Tromgard, right? His potency is super low, um, and so bo boosting boosting his potency seventeen percent. You're looking at when you look at his stats here, all right? You want to look at potency, right? Twenty eight twenty eight point five percent, and this is where he stuns. Uh, and so it's the same thing for other characters who also have stuff like ability blocks, all right? You need that potency. Um, you need to have the potency. So like Nightiel, right? She has an ability block on her, um, on one of her abilities. Which one is it? Yeah, right here. Veil of Silence. So she's got an ability block here, right? This gives, if I give it up to five, right now I only have 50% chance plus my potency, right? Now this would be 76% chance plus my potency. Um, I believe that's how the math works. I have, I don't have confirmation of that, but I believe that's how it works. When you're looking at Trumgard, it's the same type of thing. He has a 35% chance to stun, right? Um, right now my guy has a 25% chance to stun plus his potency. Uh, but then of course you got to go up against their tenacity. So, you know, it's, it ends up being, it's pretty tough to land. Sometimes Trumgard's just sitting there whacking away on everybody. But I don't want to make the video too much longer, but those are some of the mistakes that I've made. Um, you know, not saving the resources that I needed to be able to get my all my uh, orcs up, uh, picking your characters, knowing which ones are good. Just for a quick recap, here are the good characters that of the game. I plan on doing another video on, you know, these are the characters you need to get. Um, I'll do another video on that. But as of right now, remember your green resource scrolls and blue resource scrolls, um, your ability scrolls are vital. They're absolutely uncommon and common or rare ability scrolls are, are, are huge. You need to hold on to those, use them wisely. If you allow your roster, if you play a lot and you allow your roster to get huge, all right, like this right here, Robin the Bad, 4-4-4, four, 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 right? These are just a waste. Don't even waste your time on him, but I, I, I did. I wasted my time on him because of his basic ability can't be dodged. It should, you know, in theory, it should be a great counter versus Ken Lee. But if you look at Ken Lee, I've got Ken Lee, but I don't have... I don't have him to four, even close, to, even to four, and because I raced it on Robin the Bad, and he's awful. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. Obviously, I've leveled up some other people. I've stopped doing others, and then I have other characters that I haven't even bothered with. Um, and so that's that's all for today if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you if you like this video please hit that like button it really helps me out if the, you know share share this video with your friends uh hit that uh subscribe button if you're new around here hit that notifications bell so you know when i'm going to post some videos and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect